Hello everyone, and welcome to what is going to most likely be a very short episode of uh, Beginner's Java. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what might be my least favorite part of teaching Java. It's what's commonly referred to as recursion. Recursion is basically uh, when we use a method to call upon itself. Um, the resulting behavior is extremely similar to a loop. And there are times when I might use recursion to solve a problem later. I don't like it, and I generally won't use it unless it's truly necessary. So I wouldn't worry too much about seeing this from me because I, I just I don't like it. So without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to create a method. We're going to call static void output. And we're not going to take anything in with output. And we're merely going to do system.out.println. Just say hello there. I really want some pie. And that's true, I, I would really like some pie if anybody would like to send me some. And then all I'm going to do is instead of doing a return or anything of that nature, I'm going to call output again. Because you can call a method from inside of another method or inside of itself. And then all I need to do here is call output. And before I run this, I'm going to make a prediction. Um, this is probably going to cause a stack overflow. And I'll explain what that is in just a moment. So we have some pi, and there we go, stack overflow. Now let's talk a little bit about what just happened, why it happened, how it happened, and why it's bad that it happened. Now, basically what this has done is as follows. Number one, it calls the method output from main. And then it outputs some text. And then it's unable to exit output. So what it does is it creates new instance of output call from output. Then that just loops over and over and over until eventually the computer runs out of resources. And so what occurs is known as a stack overflow, which is basically when you, well, I won't get too into what a stack overflow is, but let's say that it's when you run out of resources to oversimplify things. Um, yeah, I like that as an explanation for now, so let's leave it at that. But let's assume I were to change this, and this is how I'm going to show you that there is some level of practicality to it. We're going to take in a value, and we'll call it int x. And so when I call output again, I'm going to have to call x. So now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, come down here, and when I call it, I'm going to say output, let's say 5. And now each time through the loop, what I'm going to do is do x minus minus, and then I'm going to make a simple if statement. I'm going to say if x is less than or equal to 0, return. And that's really going to be all I do. And so what this is now going to do is it's going to print out exactly five times, or one, two, three, four, five, yeah, okay, just making sure there was no off by one there. So what this has done is acted essentially as a loop. Instead of having a break, we have a return. But the same elements are there. We have something that we're using as a counter or as a break condition. We have an increment, or in this case a decrement, 
and we have a way out of the loop. Until then, it continues to loop by calling itself. So for now, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. This is a very introductory look at recursion. Um, we will get more into this probably about another five to ten lessons. Um, I didn't want to really shove it down your throats. I just wanted to give you guys just a quick little taste of it um, before we continued on. So to summarize, recursion is simply a method that calls upon itself. Whereas a loop is a construct in and of itself. Uh, a loop is something that will occur until either you choose for it to stop or you don't choose for it to stop. Uh, recursion can be solve problems and it can be used in a lot of interesting ways. So I hope you guys will join me again and I'll see you next time.